Today I get a surprise for you. Just kidding, more dungeon tiles. Stay tuned. <laughs> Wednesday night, we're back with another episode of Starships and Steel. I know it's surprising, but we're back. Another week, another craft. That being said, next week, probably won't have one. I don't think I'll have time to get it done, but we'll see what I can do. We got a beer, because Wednesday. This is a small batch. Granville Island uh, Brewing Company. Uh, Mocha Porter. Sounds pretty good. 6% alcohol. Dark auburn color, 25 of the IBU scale. Bad. Anything else of any interest on here? Oh, JJ Bean Coffee. It's even good coffee. Meets rich cocoa nibs in our tasty mocha porter accompanied by subtle caramel notes. This cozy fireside brew serves up a slightly roasted bitter finish. Well, we'll find out. Give this a shot. I think I broke, oh I did. Bottle opener. <coughs> Fail. There we go. Got a beer. Got a Cozelle mug. Don't have Cozelle mug. Uh, Cozelle beer for the Cozelle mug. But give this a shot. And we'll see how many skulls of our enemies this is worth this week. Let's save some for the girlfriend, I guess. She'll get mad at me. She won't get mad at me. But she'll enjoy it, I'm sure. So we'll save her some. Cheers to you guys out there. It smells pretty good. Hmm. Three and a half out of five skulls of my enemies. I don't got a lot to say today. Because I try to cut that down to the other episodes, although we missed one last week. But, so, your dungeon tiles nice and flat. You're bored with what they currently look like. We're building decorative tiles. We're building new things to make them more interesting. Today, I'm going to build some stairs. And then the next craft I'm going to build, either next week or the week after, are stairs that go down. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, also, we are, I think, 407 or 408 subscribers, which is freaking cool. I'm at almost one year of the channel. Uh, my first video I uploaded on November 30th, 2016 it is now November 15th, 2017. It would be super cool to get to 500 before November 30th. So, if you're watching this, and you don't mind me burping a little once in a while when I drink beer, and you're thinking maybe I should subscribe, eh, maybe next time. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. 500 we're going for. we got 15 days. I'm going to start another video segment in the next couple days um, called Road to Tarantia or I don't know, something. I've been working on a map for the Hyborian Age and we're going to use that to track our subscriptions to go around the world and go on adventures. We might have this one be um, Road to Vanaheim, in which case we'll roll, roll our guys from Samaria up to where the Frost Giant's daughter was, maybe, and then roll through that way. I don't know. But anyways, enough of me blabbing. Let's go over there. Let's build you guys some stairs. Okay, so now we know what we're building. I'm just going to take a 3 by 3 tile here and trace it on this piece of paper. So we can do a quick layout to see the size of the pieces we need to build this set of stairs. Like I said, basic 3 by 3 tile. So looking at this, we know we want to bring in the steps a little bit from the edge because we don't want it to be right to the edge. So I chose a quarter inch. So I marked it at the top and the bottom. It's like this. Line it up nice. And I took the ruler and I just connected the dots. Get some nice straight lines. And I measured between them to see how big my steps would need to be. And I got two and a half inches. So this space here, two and a half inches, which makes two set of stairs between them, two blocks, about an uh, inch and a quarter each. Awesome. 
So we're going to measure in three quarters of an inch because that'll let you place a one inch base miniature on there and they shouldn't fall off. So measure that in as the front of the steps and that's where we'll start the blocks to going up. That way we have a little bit of a empty space before we go to the first stair. So we're going to measure back one and a quarter inches for the first block on both sides. And then we'll just connect that dot up a little bit. There we go. And because I'm a little bit anal sometimes, we're going to measure over one and a quarter inches. We're going to lay out the two stone blocks for the stairs right here. This will also show us, oh, do this part first. So one, one and a quarter inches by one and a quarter inches for each of the blocks. And then this back piece isn't quite one and a quarter inches, so we'll need a block that's one inch by two and a half inches wide, just to fill in that space. All right, once we got this figured out, we need uh, figure how many stairs we need. One, two, three, four, and then probably partial steps at the top, so six total though. So we need six steps, six stones, three, three flights, three stairs. So we're gonna make a template for that so we can cut them the same size. So we're just gonna take out that piece of that medium weight uh, graphics chipboard. We're gonna measure one and a quarter inches at the top and the bottom, just like we did on the piece of paper. We're gonna connect those dots. Just like this. And we will take We'll label it first. This is actually really important. Otherwise, you end up with little pieces of chipboard lying all over. You don't know what they are. So, if you're making templates and you want to use them again, make sure you label them so you know what they are. Once you got it labeled, take our razor knife, a couple passes so it's a nice good cut. And there we got one and a quarter inches. Well, note this piece is just about two and a half inches wide. Um, so we can use it as a layout piece as well on the foam, which is what we're going to do now. So this is a piece of scrap foam. So each one of these is going to be approximately big enough for two uh, sets of stones for the stairs if they were half inch wide. Um, they're not going to be, they're going to be quarter inch. So each one of these is actually worth four steps. So we got one, two, three, four, five, probably 10 steps in there, which is more than enough. Cut off this edge piece because we don't need it right now. We'll set up our prox on using that template. Have it touch that wire and then put down your fence, pull it out, run your foam through just like this. Next piece. And then rotate it 90 degrees. Put you through again. Again, just keep doing that till you run out of foam. And that'll give you a, a basis for your stone blocks. Looking good. Keep going. Just like that. Awesome. So now we're going to put our fence in so it cuts these foam blocks approximately in half lengthwise. So that turns them into quarter inches high, quarter inch thick. So fire that on and then just push these through. Make sure you don't burn your finger on the wire. Nice and easy. Again, you could do this with a knife, but man, the Proxon makes it so, so easy. Just run those through like this. You'll be done before you know it. All right. So we're going to set up our uh, fence at an inch. and We're going to cut that back piece we needed to fill in the gap. So we're going to use the end of the, the uh, piece we cut the blocks out of. Just because it happens to be just about an inch. And it'll be just fine for what we want to do. It's a little bit shy at the end, but that's alright. And then measure uh, two of these wide. Put a line on there. You can go back to the proxon if you wanted. I just used a razor knife quick. Because that was way simpler than setting up the fence and doing the one single cut. Awesome. However, to go back to the proxon and cut it lengthwise into quarter inch pieces again. So we're going to place that one on the back. This is like the layout we just did. Like that. That's how they're going to look on the first level. Second level, 
Another two full sets of stairs. Make sure miniature stands on there, no problem. Just like we planned. Looking good. Uh, we're going to take another with that uh, second piece of two and a half by one and cut it in half to go in the back of the second level of stairs. And we're going to, once we glue these on, it'll be hard to do the texture, so we're going to do the texturing now. So I'm just marking off one inch squares on this piece because I like that for blocks. Even though I don't use the one inch grid system, it makes it look good because you've got stone blocks in there anyhow. So do whatever you want to do here. Uh, my, my tiles I've been building recently have had a little bit different texture, so they were more interesting. But these ones will be more interesting because they're stairs. So you get your lines drawn on there, go in with your knife, nice and quick, nice and shallow. Cross all four lines. Just drop those down the side as well. If you get the sides of these all finished up too, you don't have to use them against other things. They could be stacked, which is nice. That was a thing that uh, I learned from uh, Black Magic. He talks about that in his videos, so I do all my tiles that way now. Take your pen. I use a uniball, and then I just trace those lines out so they have more depth, and so they paint up nicer. And get the sides as well. Do that real quick. Super exciting, I know. I'll show you the whole process. Awesome, looking good. Take some tin foil, like you guys have all done before. Go over that, make it nice textured up so it looks like uh, stone. Take some hot glue. Put that on there. And glue on this back piece. Kind of center it and push it flush against the back. Awesome, looking good. So now we're going to take our one quarter inch by one quarter inch. One and a quarter inch, sorry. Put it on there, remove any little pieces of glue that are straggling, because there's always some, because we're using hot glue. Next one, same thing, glue, put it on, like that. Once I get that done, I go in with the tin foil again, and just texture these all up again real quick. I'm gonna stagger these, so I'm gonna put them on like that, then I know how wide I'm gonna need my uh, side pieces. Make sure the miniature fits. Take the middle one and glue it on, just like that. A little bit of glue sticking out there, just take a piece of chipboard, just wipe that away while it's still hot. Perfect. Take another uh, of those tiles, cut it in half, just like that. And we'll glue those in place as well. One there, one there, perfect. And we'll go back in and texture that up again with the tin foil after we glue this other piece in. And this is going to hang off the back a little bit, but that doesn't matter. We'll deal with that in a bit. Awesome. Like I said, I'm sure the miniature still stands, although it's kind of late now, but nice to know. Great. So we're going to put the next piece on top. And then I, I lost some video there, but just stick them on top if you did before, and it's all good. So now set your fence up as close to the wire as you can without touching. And you'll see how much that wire moves when we turn it on. So that's something to keep in mind when you're cutting. And then I'm going to take my entire block. And you'll see how big that first cut is because that wire is not very tight. But I'm just going to trim off the very, very edge of the back so that it's all flush and nice. And we'll just go in and texture it again. So take your knife and make the stones in the back. Stagger them because they're bricks. Go in with your pen. And then lines that don't have glue go over. Ones with glue will be hard to do because they get in the way of the pen. You basically want to do the verticals and not the horizontals. Great. Texture that up just like before. And now it's looking good. So now we're going to put uh, some character in the way of cracks. Just go through with your knife until they're cool. Get as many done as you want. Don't overdo it. But, you know, make it look cool. And then I think once we get those done, you can come in and just kind of break out some pieces here and there, like in the corners. That makes it look pretty cool, usually. And then go in with your pen and just uh, lightly go over those cracks again. And that'll make the paint stand out a lot better when you go to the painting stage. That one there. All right. Oh, looking pretty good. 
So now, like I said, we're going to go back in with that knife and just break out some pieces, make it look like broken, broken stone. A little bit more character. You can see I added a little row of, like, one-eighth steps to the very top. Don't have to do that. Um, I just like how that looks. Like, it implies that it continues on up. And you can't see the ball anymore. All right, so it's looking pretty decent. When you're happy with them, we can move on to uh, looking at seeing what they look like with some color. That part there is a little bit weak because it's so small. Um, if you make those bigger, I would recommend that. So here we hit it with uh, black paint and Mod Podge to get that base color coat on there. And then I hit it with uh, a dry brush with slate, pretty heavy dry brush. Because we textured it, we don't have to use a sponge. We get that, that fake texture. Then I hit that with a lighter gray, storm cloud gray it's called, in the paints I use. Then I hit it with Amish gray, a little bit less of a dry brush, one of those higher highlights. Finally I hit it with smoke, which is my lightest color I used, I believe, if I remember correctly. Then I hit it with some red and some green, uh, just to give it a little bit more interest in color. So it's not just stone. Then finally, I hit it with a black wash. And that covers everything up and brings up all those details. And it looks pretty good. So now we can see it in play here. We've got uh, some stairs coming down into an open area. And this is an area we set up last time for our decorative tiles. So if you think these are a cool idea and you think you might want to add them to your collection, please feel free to hit like on the video. Um, subscribe, please, because we're getting close to 500, and it would be neat to get to 500 before the end of the month, which is when I started the channel, and will be our one-year anniversary with Starships and Steel. So that'd be awesome, guys. Until next time, uh, cheers, and I will see you guys probably next week.